Hello and welcome to this new video about C programming. Today I want to talk to you about pointers. Pointers are very important in lower level programming languages because they give you an interface to easily manipulate the memory. Let's start with the basics. Pointers are variables that contain memory addresses instead of normal values. If we look at this picture, we see two variables, A and B. A is a normal integer variable, while B is an integer pointer to A. If, for example, we set int A equals 10 and then int tar B equals end A, we can access the value of A by referencing B, which means pointing. We can do like this, star B. When we say B equals end A, it means that we are assigning the memory address of A as value of B. There can be multiple levels of pointer reference, so you can create chains of pointers. For example, by doing star star c equals nb, you can reference the value of a using star star c. If you use star 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 d with d equals nc, you are still referencing the value of a. In C, pointers are also useful to pass arguments to function by reference instead of values. What this means is that you can pass the memory address of an array or variable, work on the pointed value, and when the function terminates, you'll have the original variable modified in the color function. As an example, let's see the difference of swapping elements inside a function using normal variables and pointers. As you can see, if we swap elements with pointers, we get the intended result. On the other hand, if we use normal variables, we swap copies of the variables inside the function. The original variables in the main function never get touched, so when the program returns from the swap function, nothing changes. Let's now see some pointer notions applied to arrays. Pointers and arrays are in fact closely related. See this int array for example. Instead of using indexing to address array elements, you can also use pointer arithmetic. This notation means go to the memory address of array plus 2, then reference it. You can also iterate an array using this same method. In this example, we pass the array by reference to the read array pure pointers function, and we add a receipt element of the array using the reference operator. To pass to the next array slot, we just need to increment the array pointer by 1 in the for loop. In C, you can encapsulate arrays inside other arrays. In this example, I created an array of integer pointers, so I can store the memory address of two arrays in a single one. Doing it this is useful when you need to pass lots of arrays to a single function without having tons of variables in the function header. To finish this video, I'll show you other applications of pointers. Data structures. To create complex data structures in C, you must use the struct keyword. In this example, I created a linked list data structure. This data structure has two fields, an integer and a pointer to the data structure itself called next. This is, in fact, a recursive data structure. In the main function, I then created two elements and allocated their memory using malloc. To manipulate the list, you can use pointers and struct fields, or the shorthand arrow notation. 
As you can see, the aromatization is much more straightforward. There are other applications for pointers, such as pointers to function, but I think the ones I just showed you are the most common ones. That's it for this video. I hope you now have a better knowledge about pointers in C. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye!